Ladies and gentlemen, my name is AOA and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the SCP Containment Breach mod on your Xbox One Minecraft. This is a really cool mod that I highly recommend to anyone who is just trying to add a twist to their Minecraft game and make it even more fun. Now, I got asked to make a mod tutorial on SCP mods for a really long time now and I'm finally doing it. So, you're welcome to everyone who has requested this and of course, it works with any of the Xbox One styles, whether it be the original xbox one which is the one i use the xbox one s or the xbox one x of course guys but before we get into the video guys make sure to leave a like share and subscribe for a ton of minecraft tutorials all the time as well as turn on post notifications to never miss out on another upload now there is one prerequisite step to getting any of these mods and that is downloading this app right here my files explorer despite its two and a half rating or two and a half star rating uh, it is really freaking good and it is the only way to get mods on your Xbox One. So I definitely recommend getting it. You can get it on the Microsoft Store for I believe $2.99. However, don't click off the video yet guys. Because you can get a 24 hour free trial uh, multiple times. Once it expires for your main account, you can just install a new account and just get it on there. I decided to buy the app because it is really good. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I'm not sponsored or anything. It just... It really makes life easier. But yeah, once you get that insta or app installed, guys, head over to Microsoft Edge and go to mcpedl.com slash scp-foundation-add-on. All right, guys. Now, you can just, if you don't want to type in all that, just go up to mcpedl.com, go over to the search tab, and just type in SCP, and then just look for this mod specifically. Uh, there is a lot within here, as you guys can see just from over here. There's so much that I got to scroll down through. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down until I find the download tab right over here. I believe it should be right here. And of course, he says, uh, make sure to give him permission. So yeah, check him out on uh, MCPDL. I can't put links in my descriptions anymore because I got a community guidelines warning. So uh, I would have made your life easier by just putting a link to get to here on, uh, well, your devices. But I can't put links in the description anymore due to a community guideline strike. But yeah, guys, um, once you get to the downloads tabs, just go to the zip file for Xbox, iOS, and PS4. Hit A on that, and what will happen is it will bring you to this page right here, which will basically say that you're leaving MCPDL to head over to, I believe it is AdFly. Yep, I'm right. Uh, and then you'll basically just want to skip ad once it does this little countdown thing right here. Now, sometimes it doesn't work immediately, and sometimes it'll take you to a different page. Now, just basically to fix that, just keep on going back and keep on skipping the ad. You can refresh it if you want, or sometimes it just works, as you guys can see. Yep, it worked first time for me. AdFi has been very nice to me recently, if you've been watching the videos. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's nice to you. But basically, once you get to the Mediafire page, just hit the... Uh, just hit A on the download button. It's as simple as that. And once that finishes loading, as you can see, uh, as you guys can see, uh, it basically just downloads something right here. But you could just hit A on the save button right here, and then go into My Files Explorer. Now, if it's your first time loading up My Files Explorer, it'll look nothing like this. And if you want it to look this cool, or if you want to be able to see things at all, just go over to the three dot icon over here. And go into settings and then basically change the theme i believe it's originally on this to anything on the bottom down here you know dark theme is so much better i don't know why you wouldn't be using it but basically once you do that you should be able to see everything then basically guys just go back up to the three dot icon again hit a on it this time go to add folder to library now from here guys just hit the two square buttons on your controller to basically navigate into this app and hit a on this device tab then scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit a on select now that'll add this user mgr4 folder for you now keep in mind it might not be uh, I guess it might not have the number four after it. It doesn't really matter what the number is guys It'll work nevertheless. So uh, yeah, if it says use uh, user mgr2 for you or user mgr1 any number I guess uh, it still works. So uh, Stop asking me in the comments guys. Come on <laughs> But anyways guys uh, jokes aside uh, what you want to do next is go into isolated storage 
or not isolated storage open up the user mgr4 folder then go into downloads and then basically find your scp add-on as you guys can see let's see if we can find it in here yep scp foundation add-on right here now once you find it guys just hit the start or through lines button on your controller and go over to extract now this is a really big add-on so it will take some time to extract so i'll just get back to you guys once it is done extracting see you guys in a minute so guys once it finishes extracting for you it'll just become like a folder for you to actually open up and as you guys can see once you open up the folder you should have a behavior pack and a resource pack within that now i like to start with the behavior pack just because i think it's easier so what you want to do once you find the behavior packs and once your whole thing finishes extracting is just hit the start button or throwing lines button on your controller then go down to move folder and then over in this library device thing just go into isolated storage then up into packages now if you don't have packages right here guys do not worry i have a guide on my channel on how to get packages if you're having issues so i would just go check that out and then come back to this guide and uh you should be set but anyways once you get packages up here uh hit a on it obviously and then scroll all the way down till you find microsoft.minecraft uwp console open that up then go to local state then games then calm down mojang and you should find two packs or two folders called behavior underscore packs and resource underscore packs now if you do not have these folders don't worry just go up to the top right hand corner hit a on the three dot button again and then go into new folder and basically just create the folders now this is case sensitive so uh make sure you don't have capital letters in there and of course make sure you spell it right i'm not going to go ahead and create both the behavior and resource packs again because that'd just be a waste of time so i'm just going to go ahead and create behavior uh, packs again so basically once you get that all good obviously make sure you spell it right guys make sure you have the underscore and make sure there's no capital letters this will not work if you don't spell it correctly just the start button and as you can see it just created a copy of my previous folder now basically i'm gonna go ahead and delete this obviously you guys don't delete it because you need them to I guess work but once you have both the behavior packs folder and resource packs folder created just go into behavior packs go all the way over to the side and see how there's this empty space right here just hit the start button or through lines button in that space and then go into paste and basically that's going to move your behavior pack all the way from your uh i guess your user mgr4 folder uh and within your user mgr4 folder there will be a downloads folder it'll move it basically all the way from that to your minecraft folder now basically this is going to take some time because as i mentioned earlier this add-on is massive so i'll cut to you guys once it is done again all right guys so as you can see it just finished down here now basically the next step is just rinsing and repeating the previous step so go back to this device go back to user mdr4 back into downloads uh, and this time guys get to the uh, scp foundation thing and as you can see when you open it up it'll only have the resource pack within there so basically just hit the start button through lens button on your controller one more time go into move folder go back into this device back into isolated storage back into packages there we go back into user mg or not user mg or for microsoft on minecraft uwp console bro i cannot speak today back into local state back into games course after that back into condo mojang this time I'm going to resource packs over to the side again start button three lines button on your controller and paste now this one will take even longer than the behavior packs because the resource packs always have more uh, i guess the textures in there and there's more items in there so uh just wait for that to finish and the final step is in minecraft so i'll see you there all right guys so i just got loaded into minecraft after that finished uh moving all the way from user mgr4 to my uh i guess resource packs within minecraft so basically as you can see i'm in xbox just in case you don't believe me uh i'm hitting a on play and i'm gonna create a new world because this will not work on a previous world because it does have a behavior pack within it and uh that kind of breaks the game for you so don't add this to a previous world it will not work and well you just don't want to risk it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put myself in creative obviously it works in survival these mobs spawn in naturally so don't feel required to do that but what you should do is go all the way down till you find experimental gameplay and turn that on also go into resource packs go into my packs and in there you should find scp foundation rp turn that on by activating that and then do the exact same thing with the behavior packs and then you can create your world and you should be set all right guys so once i get loaded in i'll do a short little demonstration to prove that this mod works but yeah 
I'll see you in a sec once I get loaded in. All right, guys, so I just got loaded into Minecraft right here in my creative world. Let's go ahead and find a more open space real quickly. This will do perfectly. Uh, and let's go into the spawn eggs just to check everything out. Because, yes, there is so much that got added in. All right, guys. Uh, let's start, I guess, with some SCPs. All right. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of SCP Containment Breach. But I do know a little bit of the characters. So, there's a turret right there. Bruh. There's SCP-999. SCP-811. Ooh, that's creepy, bro. Uh, female nightail. What? Oh, wait. That's a soldier. <laughs> uh, SCP-931. This dude is crazy, bro. He will literally, like, as you can see, he attacked this dude right off the bat. Or, actually, I think this dude poisoned him, if I'm right. Because, yeah, this dude does poison people. Uh, oh, shit. I accidentally spawned an actual one. And he dies by the laser instantly. Here's a mole rat. And this dude's about to poison him. See how detailed this mod is? It's absolutely crazy. Here is uh, a pizza box, bro. SCP-173 right here. The classic one, you know. If you if you look away, then he moves for you. Let's see if we can actually get him to do that. Chill, laser. All right, so for you. Does he do it in this? No, oh wait, I'm in, I'm in creative, of course. Okay. Uh, here's SCP-0192. Whoa, man, that's, uh, that's strange. Let's go ahead and spawn this back in, because this thing is killing off all these mobs for us. Let's see if it kills that. Oh, dude, this is so crazy. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. This spawns in pizza that we can actually eat? And those lasers do lag us a little bit. Pizza slice? All right, let's go ahead and have some pizza. Does it give us any effects? Nah, that's really cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you enjoyed... Wait, why is there two of you now? If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, you freaking nerds.